Hello and welcome Capricorn. This is your June 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you want to leave a comment, it would be nice to hear from you. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Capricorns, what we do here, we will in a way, divide the reading into sections so it is easier to give the messages and easier for you to understand it. What we will do here first, we look at the overall energy for the month of June 2023 for the sign of Capricorn before we then move into your emotional core, emotional core is whether or not um, there's love coming in or, or love as per, per se needs to be looked at or whether or not there's some healing that can happen, that kind of stuff, or some pain that needs to go, that kind of thing. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June 2023. Now, for the most part, the opportunities oftentimes are about what sustains you financially. But please remember that money is not a spiritual currency. So sometimes the guys and my guides don't necessarily go there. They look at more whether or not what you're after really makes sense to your soul rather than your wallet, if that makes sense, right? So, are you ready? Let's do this, Capricorns. This is for your overall energy for the month of June 2023. I work with Native American guides and with Spirit Animal Guides. What is coming through here? You have the brown bear and the timber wolf. Now, bears are about healing. The brown bear is about the feminine side of you. Uh, the more emotional, the more softer part of you. Um, now it's time to step back a little. And in the overall energy, you do very well in June when you are not allow yourself to be stressed or follow, sounds a bit weird or maybe not, uh, follow orders. You didn't come here to be in service, if that makes sense, right? Uh, really, really important this month to um, have a bit of me time, break free a little from other things because the next animal guide for your overall energy is the timber wolf. And the timber wolf is a bit more of a timid kind of pack animal. And all they're saying is what you really need, strong word, what you really need in the month of June 2023 is time out, right? So if you can go on a retreat this month, this would be the time to, to, to do it. If you really want to do um, more to communicate with your guides, look at meditating, look at yoga, whatever comes your way, right? Point is, what will not work for you is to go on business as usual because you're already tired and it's time you stepped away from, from things a little bit because there's healing that needs to still happen to you and it can't happen when you exert yourself for the sake of others. Okay? That's that. Now let's look at um, your emotional core, even though partly they already talked about it, if that makes sense. In any case, you have the red-headed woodpecker and you have the moose. They're actually quite good energies here when it comes to your emotions. The um, energy here, although here, is, is not about, um, and I'm not saying it's not coming in, obviously, but the point is, what I'm not getting is, is this, wow, I'm in a new relationship, best thing that ever happened to me, yay! I'm not getting euphoria as energy for you this month. I'm getting the energy of the woodpecker. And the woodpecker is saying, no matter how crooked the tree, which is your life, um, I can manage. So anything to do with your emotions, if you're still affected by stuff that happened to you, um, should you go through stuff emotionally, uh, uh, whether or not it's going to be an intimate relationship or something older, if that makes sense, um, is not super, super um, important which one it is. The point is, you will get through this and you will be fine because you have the moose, right? That guy. What a beautiful guy this is, with antlers and everything. Every time you have antlers, uh, it means you're quite protected while you're going through your healing, which is what the guides are saying to you this month. Um, look at your, at your at, at the healing that needs to happen. Um, the moose doesn't sink in when things get, get difficult. He just keeps on going. So what the guides are saying is, now is not the time to give up on anything. Um, 
true they acknowledge here that that there are uh, some of you out there uh, uh, capricorns that um probably struggle especially with stuff that has happened a while ago or maybe there is stuff that this has happened or has started a while ago but it's ongoing so again reflecting on um how happy am i where am I at this point in time there's a there's a really easy way to go about this uh, if you detach yourself and you remove yourself from the situation you are in and then in your mind put your best friend into that position ask yourself would i ask my best friend to go through what i'm going through and if the answer is hell no then you have got your answer right so reflecting uh, is not unimportant that is um, that that was that for your um, emotional core uh, capricorns Finally, we're moving on to the last part of the reading, which is opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June 2023. Now, interestingly, you have the panther, can't pronounce the H, panther, and the caribou. Now, the panther is all about understanding that when it comes to opportunities, it only works when you stop hiding. So, if you are going for anything that you want to do, if you're really self-employed, for instance, because the energy of Capricorn always works better when you have nobody to tell you what to do. So um, if you can be, let me just, this is all a bit crooked here today. Uh, if you can be um, a person that creates your own timeline, your own, your own space, it works much better for you. That being said, when it comes to opportunities, you have the panther, which means there is a leopard with unique dots, a very unique being hiding slightly inside a panther. Now, in nature, these unique dots that are you um, would mean you are more camouflaged when you're trying to hide, when you're trying to say, oh, I'm not really sure I can do that, that kind of energy. Um, you stand out more. So the point the guides are making is, you know, if there are certain things you cannot do, be honest about it. Maybe... Whoever it is you want to work with is saying, well, maybe we can do something about it. Maybe we can train you up or whatever it is you want to do. Or if you feel that you are self-employed and your so-called toolbox doesn't quite reach, then obviously it is time to study something new. But rather than wrecking your head about, what am I supposed to study? You kind of go and say to the guides, help, I want to study something, I need a bigger toolbox. That is a much better way for the guides to understand that what you are looking for is some, some guidance but the moment you say to them, what am I supposed to do? They will not answer that question because you have free will. And if someone tells you what to do, then you only look in that direction. You don't look at other things, right? Ultimately, you have the caribou, which is about the cycle of life and rebirth. So the point is when you have the caribou next to the, the panther in the setting of opportunities, all the guides are saying is, you know, things start, things come to an end. At this point in time, you shouldn't look for the perfect job the last thing you do in your life you should just go and say like right here's i here's me i do the best i can at, at at all times and i want to and i deserve to actually feel welcome in any job or any thing that i actually do and that at this point in time is more than good enough right so don't don't look for something perfect so the way that they show this to me is like, again, it's, it's just a scenario that, that they give me. Um, so what they show me is a, is a nurse in a hospital, right? Shitty hours, <laughs> shitty pay, right? But nice people. And, um, and there's one office and one head nurse. And the head nurse is about 102 years old, so she's going to retire. And all I'm hearing is the office alone doesn't mean you have less work. So removing yourself from the stresses by thinking I'm the head nurse, I'm in charge, is not really what's happening at all because the head nurse is just a nurse. Sounds horrible, but you understand that. She still has to take orders from someone else, if that makes sense. And that ultimately doesn't quite make sense to the energy of Capricorn. I hope that helped. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. See you all next month. Bye-bye.